uh, accelerate this process of recovery of assets. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the S&D group, Mrs. Gomesh, two and a half minutes. Commissioner Fuller just said asset recovery cannot be done overnight. But the EU has simply not done enough to help Tunisia, Libya and Egypt recover the billions of assets that the former corrupt regime stole and stashed away in financial centres around in our member states. Tunisia has launched over 65 legal cases in courts around the world and up until the recovery of US dollars 29 million from Lebanon in April of this year, a mere drop in the ocean of what the Ben Ali regime is estimated to have looted, Tunisia was yet to recover a single cent. Egypt is in turmoil and this is exacerbated by the economic crisis in the country, widespread poverty and the expectations of their population that the recovery of those assets could help meet. And after 42 years of systematic institutional dismantling and a kleptocracy of unprecedented proportions, the Libyan authorities are trying to make sense of the colossal volumes of assets Gaddafi sprayed around the world. These countries are facing layer after layer of bank secrecy and ambiguous ownership structures that protect dictators' ill-gotten riches. A seemingly, seemingly endless queue of obstructions and appeals, often by parties acting erroneously on behalf of the ousted officials. And whereas the Swiss are being heralded for aiding the authorities of these countries, our own member states are failing to show the polluting willingness that is crucial to this process. Stable communication channels are also essential here. The G8 created the action plan on asset recovery within the Deauville partnership, which has led to re-election, like the meeting of the Arab Forum on asset recovery and the publishing of national guides on seeking assistance. The STAR initiative of the World Bank and UNODOC, UNODC does crucial work in this respect, in disseminating information and best practice. Has anyone seen the European Union, despite the fact that there were alerts made by the Special Representative for the Southern Mediterranean, Mr. Bernard Leon, to our Foreign Affairs Committee in the joint meeting we had with the national parliaments in Cyprus last uh, September last year. For the sake of our credibility in the region, it is critical uh, and, and, and our own critical strategic interests. The EU must now take action in assisting its partners in this process, as we propose in this resolution to be adopted following this debate. And I'm proud to have steered this process on behalf of my political group and very much want to appreciate the valuable contributions made by our, the other groups. I would like now to say that we count on the High Representative and Vice President to ensure that the external instruments will finance an expert mechanism to begin working as soon as possible possible in facilitating and advising the authorities of these countries. This is not a flash in the pan concept either. This will be a sustainable mechanism that can evolve into co-financing in the future and serve as well other partner countries. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of the ALDE group, Mrs. Nates Utterbrook for two minutes. President, Commissioner, as a and the previous speaker, Ana Gomez, has so eloquently demonstrated uh, the recovery of uh, the misappropriated assets of Libya, 